I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent, chatting with Capital One. Some amazing things going on. I'm joined by the Director of Data Science, James Montgomery. First of all, James, you have a really cool job. Tell us about it. It's, in my opinion, one of the best jobs in the world. Every day I get to work on challenging problems with some of the smartest people I've ever met. We're out there trying to bridge what is the cutting edge in machine learning technology with problems that matter in financial services, trying to better our customers' experiences, empower associates throughout the bank. And you're doing more than just that. You're also working on scaling AI. Talk to us specifically about Capital One's approach there. The most important thing about scaling AI at Capital One is being well managed and responsible. From ideation to deployment, my team is working with our risk partners, model risk governance, data risk, business risk, more risk partners than there are flavors in Baskin Robbins, to make sure that we're not only building effective solutions that forward our business and help our customers, but we're doing it in a well-managed way, and we're following best practices. And we are here at AWS reInvent, as we know. You have a session on that topic coming up. What are some of the topics that are going to be discussed at that session, and what are kind of some of the nuggets you'll leave behind those attending? Capital One has been on an amazing journey over the past decade, even longer, revolutionizing the way they do work and integrating machine learning throughout its products. Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about some of the lessons learned throughout that journey. Uh, two of the most important things we're going to talk about is first, the importance of cross-functional partnerships, and second, some of the changes we've made to our tech stack to allow us to push the uh, boundary in cutting edge uh, research, AI research, and bank banking. That's fantastic, great stuff, look forward to that. Now, cross-functional partnerships are a key piece of all of this. Tell us about the partnerships, not only with AWS, but others that may be involved in this work. No one wants to operate within an echo chamber, and innovation, especially well-managed innovation, really is a team sport. So at the atomic level in a team, we make sure we have data scientists, data analysts, engineers of all sorts, machine learning, software, data, uh, product owners, business partners, all working together to bring diverse perspectives to understand what are the key problems we should solve and how we should solve them. Zooming out, we connect teams across our lines of business, research, and risk to make sure that we're building well-grounded, deployable solutions that we can put in front of customers and associates to make a difference. But really, it doesn't stop at the boundary of Capital One. So looking outside of Capital One, we're partnering, as you mentioned, with AWS to set up infrastructure platforms and tools that really empower our research teams to build and deploy next generation solutions. And we're partnering with all sorts of top tier academic institutions like USC and Columbia so that we can solve problems that are really meaningful within uh, financial services as well as relevant to Capital One and its customers. You're doing a lot of work. Your partners are bringing a lot to the table to help you do that work. How has Capital One's tech stack evolved as a result of these efforts? It's almost like night and day. I joined Capital One 10 years ago. 10 year, years ago when I joined, we were working on on-prem compute. We we're using proprietary software. Uh, we had quite the uh, federated uh, data ecosystem. Over the past 10 years, we've gone all in on the cloud. We've modernized and standardized our data ecosystem. We have 14,000 technologists who are working not only to maintain, but grow and advance the services and platforms that our associates and our customers use every single day. We've also integrated machine learning throughout our business. Some really great examples, one internal facing example is agent servicing where we have Gen AI tools that are helping our agents make a difference, answering customer questions, comments, and concerns in the moment, making a difference where it matters. We also have great internal solutions. For example, our fraud models that work behind the scenes, preventing all sorts of nefarious individuals from taking control of our customers' financial products and keeping them safe and happy. And great use of AI, I know, for example, as a customer, when I have that transaction, it's important to have the AI model say, is, does this match up with his behavior? And speaking of behaviors, you head the behavior models research team, and that's an intriguing just mind exercise, thinking about how behavioral models can be applied to financial services. Any good examples there? Definitely, so actually tomorrow I'm going to talk about uh, some of the publications that we've made this year. 
we are really trying to understand how to make real-time intelligent decisions, proactively reaching out to customers in a personalized way. I'm going to talk about uh, some of our work. I already mentioned agent servicing. I'm also going to talk about some of the models, transformer models that we've built uh, for use in our digital platforms. It's going to be a really exciting talk and I think it's really going to make a difference in how our customers engage with us and use our products. And some 100 million customers are involved and see the results of the work that you and your team do. Absolutely fantastic stuff. We could probably talk about this for three more hours. Thank you for joining us. James Montgomery, the Director of Data Science with Capital One. I'm Brian Westbrook, GeekWire Studios.